Hello friends, in this video I am going to tell you some useful and interesting Android Studio tips. Some tips can improve your app quality, some can reduce the app development time and some tips can help you organize your Android Studio IDE. So today I am going to show you top 10 Android Studio tips. So without any delay let us start the video. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. Android Studio Templates If you are new to Android app development or if you are starting a new project, these templates are very useful for you to create your app skeleton. If you click on new project, you can see many templates here for different types of UI. Like simple basic activity or basic activity with material 3 UI design or bottom navigation activity or Google AdMob ads activity. It will create an activity by handling industrial ads default. Same way maps activity or if you want to start with login screen, you can select login activity template and also navigation drawer activity, setting activity and tabbed activity like WhatsApp and so on. Here for example, let me select navigation drawer activity, click next and write project name and click finish. So it creates all XML and class files for you which gives the navigation drawer view model. And when you run the project, see it creates some example view model for you. So over this, you can edit the files based on your requirements. Number two, theme change. For some developers, this Android Studio IDE UI view might be boring, full of white color. Then you can change your IDE theme by going to preferences. Here you can find appearance option where you can find different def default themes. So if you select them, you can view how does it look like. And also you can download some more themes by clicking get more themes option. See there are so many theme plugins listed. And also here for each theme, download count and rating was also specified. So you can view them and install. For example, I am downloading one dark theme. Click on install. Once installed, click, click on apply ok. See the view has changed. It's so colorful, right? But I like my default light theme only, so I am changing it back. So you can try using your IDE with different theme today. Search classes or files or symbols. For general search in this class, what we will do? We will open search menu using command plus F and search for method or variable, right? But what about the same text search in other classes? How do you search for classes or XML files or methods in class file or text in XML files? There is a keyboard shortcut for that. Just press command plus O in Mac. These shortcuts I am telling out for Mac OS, but for Windows OS I am mentioning on the screen, please check. You can search for classes, files, symbols and actions and also you can filter them based on place where to search either in project files or libraries, source files or else in all files. For example, here I am searching the class name with view model. See all the class names with view model gets displayed. And fragment if I mention all the classes with fragment name gets displayed. And if you go to files, here you can see the XML <coughs> files list also along with the classes. Same way you can search symbols and actions with the same fragment text and you can open the file from here directly. If you are searching a variable name like binding, you can press command plus O and go to symbols or you can open directly symbol search with the shortcut option plus command plus O and search for binding. See this binding variable was declared in all these class files. This way these keyboard shortcuts you can search for any file method or variable easily. And also there are so many keyboard shortcuts in Android Studio. If you want them to know post a comment then I will definitely do a separate video only on Android Studio keyboard shortcuts. Search everywhere. This search function is very very useful and those other search shortcuts like command plus o, option plus command plus o also you need not remember. Just press shift twice 
and then you can search everywhere. Here, na not only in your project files, you can search for anything within the IDE. For example, previously to change the theme, you have to go to Android Studio Preferences, Appearance and Behavior, Appearance. But here, just press shift twice, you can search for theme. See here, it gave all the theme references. Click on this, it will take you to the theme option in preferences. Same way, if you are searching for SDK, it will give you all SDK references. So remember this shortcut because we are going to use this very often. The next tip is enable line numbers. By enabling line numbers, you can debug the code very easily. So if you don't find the numbers, just right click here, you can see the option for show line numbers. Or click double shift, that is shift twice, search for line numbers. See here, show line numbers option is off. Toggle this, your line numbers are visible now. Switch between standalone or tool window emulator. Sometimes if you open the embedded emulator from the tool window, you cannot see the code properly. Or if you are using standalone emulator and you want to switch to embedded emulator, you can go to preferences, tools, emulator. Here you can enable or disable the emulator launching in tool window. Or as usual, double shift, search for emulator, click on the preferences emulator item. Here you can disable the tool window emulator. So if you run the project, see the standalone emulator will be opened. Code comment or uncomment. This is very simple. To comment a line, press command plus slash and to uncomment also same command. And to comment block of code, press option plus command plus slash. And to uncomment, select any line in the block or you can select a complete block and press again option plus command plus slash. Same shortcuts you can use in XML files also. Use vector assets. In our projects, most of the time we will be using some icons like here fab icon or these menu icons or some button icons etc. These icons we need not design again. We can use Android Studio vector assets. Go to drawable, right click, new vector asset. Here if you click on clip art icon, you can see number of icons related to different features. For example, if I want email icon, search for email here. See these are all related to email. And also you can change the icon type here. Filled, outlined, round, sharp or two tone. Here let me search for uh, uh, star rating icon. See these are related to rate. Select one. Here you can change the size and color and transparency of the icon. Once you click on finish, it gets downloaded to your drawable folder, which you can use it in your project. Using image assets. Most of the times the images what we use in the projects does not suit for all screen dimensions. They differ from device to device based on the pixel density. So we should use different images for different pixel density like MDPI, HDPI, XHDPI, etc. Here, see this launcher icon is kept for all pixel density devices. One is normal one and the other is rounded one. But if you want to change this app icon for your project, then you can use the image assets feature. Go to resource, new, click on image asset. It is showing Android launcher icon. Here you can select app icon designed for your project. But while taking this, remember to take high density image so that if you import the app icon for other densities, it won't lose the clarity of the icon. Here I have taken Android Studio icon. See this is how it looks for all, all the other densities. When you go to background layer, here you can change the background of your icon or you set color as background. I am setting it white. And also there are some other options for app icon based on the Android API, rounded or normal icon. And also you can create the app icon for Google Play Store. You know for Google Play Store you need 512 by 512 icon. 
you can create play store icon by selecting yes here. So you can adjust the size of the icon and change the image as per your requirement. You can see a warning message here an icon with the same name already exists and will be overwritten because uh, the name of this new icon is also IC launcher. So if you want you can change the name here but I am not changing it because I want to replace my current IC launcher icon with the new ones. So click next. See here app icon is created for different pixel density devices in different sizes and also play store icon is also be created. Here you can select where you want to import. If you select main these icons get replaced in the current launcher icons or if you want to first test and then replace then better to select debug here and click finish. See there is a folder for debug with resources. This is my new uh, launcher icon and uh, this is the existing one. Now let's run the project. See the icon is changed to new app icon and also test these icons in different devices. If you are satisfied with those icons you can copy them into your main resource folder else you can delete this debug folder anytime without any problems. But this feature is very very useful. It saves your time on creating different icons for different screen densities. And also you can bulk import the images with one single image and test without any headache. Bookmarks. This is one other important tip because you want a method or a line of code which you use most or you want to debug a piece of code most of the times then you can bookmark that code point. Press function plus F3 key to bookmark the code and importantly give a key code for the bookmark. For that press option plus function plus F3 and select a code either number or alphabet. But better to give a number because you have shortcut key to directly go to that particular bookmark with number. See I am giving 9 and also bookmark some other lines of code or methods. And if you go to bookmarks option in this tool window, you can see all the bookmarks here. Now close all the project files and you want to open a particular line of code, you can press control plus that bookmark number. Here I want to open my bookmark 1, press control 1. Then it will directly open the class and goes to that particular reference point. Same way you can specify bookmarks in different project files and open directly with the bookmark number. With this you need not remember your class names or method name for debug and also you can rename the bookmarks for better understanding. So these are the simple and daily use tips in the development process. If you want any other android tip mention in the comments and also let me know which tip you like the most. If you think this video was helpful please like the video, comment and subscribe to iRecatech Solutions. Thank you.